Hey guys, welcome back to some more RuneScape Blind Iron Man. So, it's been a little bit, but let's jump back into some questing. So, what do we have on our agenda? Uh, you'll need to defeat level 50 to 58. Ranged or magic is recommended. Okay. Okay, let's set this to active. You know what? We never, ever, ever, ever do ranged. So let's do that for a little bit. Why not? Hmm. You know what? This is an easy quest. I presume. Let's go with cakes. Okay, it said east of Varrock, I believe. Okay, let's see. Just southeast of the Earth Altar. East of Varrock. Where's the Earth Altar again? I guess I could just teleport there. Oh, it's telling me on the map. Right. That was our progress on the uh, Pathfinder quests. We're getting there with the Pathfinder quests. Ooh, this looks interesting. Hi there. Hello. What's this big hole in the ground all about? Oh, I wish I knew for sure. All I do know is that it opened seemingly by itself a few months ago. It was first discovered by the students over at the Verok dig site, a few of which have gone down, but have never returned. They told me about it straight away. So why is it important to you? A few reasons, but I think the situation is beyond help now. What situation? Maybe I can help. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm waiting to see my son Tolna. Don't suppose you've seen him. Your son Tolna? I don't know. What does he look like? I don't really know. I don't know what your own son looks like. Oh, you see, I haven't seen him for, or, 25 years now. He just ran away one day and never returned. I'm hoping he's down this rift, as I know he headed in this direction. My husband went to look, but he hasn't returned for days. Okay. Oh, 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 oops, oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? Would you like me to go down and look for your husband and son? You would do that? Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry, I'll investigate. Thank you. You can use the rope that's attached to the edge to get into the rift. No problem. Be careful. Let's do this. Why should I told not be trapped in such a wretched place? Uh, it's not fair. Feel my anger. Okay. There's an angry bear. Is that who we need to... What's going on here? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. It's time. Can I not hurt it? Doesn't deal any damage. Okay, okay, run, run away, run away. Leave me alone, leave me alone. So that's not the way. Leave me alone.
Huh. Rage level. Oh, do I need to, like, increase the rage or something? Can't deal any damage. Ow. Can't deal any damage. Hmm. Her exit? Does this just get us out? Hmm. Okay. I must conquer. Feel my anger. Is this like a, a puzzle? Oh, take weapons from weapon rack. Try this. Hmm. I don't see myself doing any damage, but it doesn't. Oh, is it because I'm wearing this gear? Can't deal any damage. Okay. So that's not the case. Hmm. Oh, is there one specific weapon for each of the enemies? Hang on a second. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, can't deal any damage. Can't deal any damage. Can't deal any damage. No, 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 leave the, leave the rat alone. Oh, okay, it is. There's one weapon for each of the enemies. Oh my god, there's two bears now. Okay. So let's go spear. Okay. Wait, let me kill this bear too. we go. Let's go mall. Took us a minute, but we figured it out. Excuse me, leave me alone, dude. All right, you're dead. Go battle axe. Hey, Scoot. Hello. Okay, let's get sword. Bam. the fire die out? Whoa. Uh-oh. Where are you going? I can't live with your rules anymore, mother. I'm tired of working hard for very little money. There's great wealth that's mine for the taking. But why? We survive perfectly fine on what we're earning. 
I'm tired of your pathetic outlook. Goodbye. Tolna. Tolna. Okay. Let's armor up again. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be somewhat puzzle chambers. It's so quiet and dark. I fear I may never escape this horrid place. Ooh, this is creepy. This is actually pretty cool. Enter black hole. Mom, Dad, help me. Hmm. No light sources. So, why can I see down here? This can't be just a simple dungeon. Okay, what do we have? That's going to take us down. I trust this hole. Ah! I don't like looking in these holes. But I must. Listen, I listen. I get it. Sometimes you just gotta look in holes. What? Do you think anyone ever actually got jump scared by these? I feel like someone must have. I'm sure a kid probably did. All right. Is this going to be like a, a memorize the order or some shit? Oh, I can enter the one black hole. There's ah. Uh... Oh, I thought I was about to get jump scared. Okay. It's all going well. The door is darker than the rest. There's no way I'm going in there. All oh, right. Oh. Huh. So I'm guessing we fight the Reaper and then he changes which hole he's in. This tries out here having a panic attack. I feel like the scariest part about this place would actually be the all the hands grasping out at you. That's the freakiest shit. These holes aren't that spooky. All right, okay. No, no grudge monsters. I wonder when this came out relative to Scary Movie. I gotta look this up. Because this was 2001, right? Actually, this might not be 2001. This would probably be later. What year was this quest? Does, does it tell me? Quest overview. 2006. Oh, this has to be after... This has to be years after Scary Movie. Let me go look up Scary Movie. When did that come out? That was 2000. Okay, so this is long after the fucking was up thing was uh, everywhere. I think 2006 would have probably been around. Okay, of the movies that everyone quoted relentlessly, I feel like 2006 was probably either. 2006 was probably Napoleon Dynamite, right? 
Because the movies I remember everyone quoting were everyone did was up. And then I remember everyone doing Napoleon Dynamite. And then I remember everyone doing uh, everyone did Borat and everyone did Super Bad. Those were the relentless quote movies I remember. Am I doing this correctly? Am I just supposed to fight guys and then does it make it brighter? Oh, I think we must because you see those holes are actually lit up. I think though, wait, are they? Are the ones I've done lit up or was that just, maybe not. Okay. Huh. And it's lit up. Dude, I don't feel scared anymore. This feels like the figment of someone's imagination. All right. Ooh, glitch texture. That's the scariest thing we've seen all day. Okay, I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you, young Tolva. Where am I? How long have I been here? Am I still the person I once was? Oh my god. These are like Voldo from, um... Oh, Confusing Door. Voldo from Soul Calibur. Okay, I love these guys. Oh, why am I so confused? Okay, can I kill them? Does this creature really exist? Okay, maybe not. Do any of them exist? Oh, this one, this one got hurt. Uh, you never understood what you were doing while playing as Voldo, but you refused to play anyone else. <laughs> Voldo is cool as fuck, okay? I know people hate fight, fighting Voldo, but... You know who I think I played as? Wait, I might be mixing up games. Was Keelik in that game? The guy with, like, the, the, the like, staff? Yeah, I think I think Keelik was my main. Oh, we're deleting one door each time. I'm actually gonna heal up just because I can. Keelik? I always thought Ivy's weapon was super cool when I was a, a kid. And as an adult, I think I still think it's cool. Thank God for that one. That so I'm guessing they recommend you are ranged or something for the AOE. Yeah, there we go. Aha! The exit is now clear. This Tolma's mind really is a mess. Leave me, but I don't want to. How can you say that? I've done nothing wrong. Ugh. He's got a very triangular head. Or pentagonal, I guess.
was the sound of someone undoing, like, doing up a zipper. What's the point? No one will ever help me. Ooh. This is like an avant-garde-ass mission. The fuck? I'm not worth anything. Will it, anyone ever combat my hopelessness? The tone of this is so different than everything we've done so far, especially for the early game quests. Because the early game thus far has generally just been goofy as fuck. I feel like the early game quests that we've done are... Have j Ooh, Jesus. The early game quests? Oh, I think we're going to need some... Uh... Jesus. Can we kill it if we get some adrenaline? Or is the point that we can't kill it? Is there any end to these monsters? Okay. Come on, do it. Come on, come on. There we go. Jesus. Okay, I just need to save up for rapid shot. Dang it, he survived it. Do I just need distance? I probably just need... I'm supposed to get on the other side of the chasm or something so that they can't hit me or some shit. Oh, never mind. They're not draining life from me. They're just, uh... Oh, he's... He got stunned for a second. There we go. Okay. I was super boring in Soul Calibur, though. I just stand at the edge of the ring and suplex them out of the ring every fight. Bushido Blade was a crazy one. Oh my god, what are these? Son, is that you? Uh, I hope not. Jesus. He's not aged well. I think I haven't aged well, but... <laughs> then I look at Tol Tolna. Please, speak to me. Tolna. Why should I speak to you? Besides... I'm no longer the boy you once knew. What do you mean? You'll always be my son. No, something evil in this dungeon has morphed my body and mind. There must be a way. Don't give up so easily. Don't give up. You had your chance to help me 25 years ago. It's the 25 years it's taken you. Sorry, but your mother and I tried so hard to find you. Lies. Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Your father isn't lying. Huh. If that's the way you think, then you shall both die. Okay, Tolna. He's a wiggly guy in a wiggly world. Wiggly Tolna. Oh my god. Get out of here, tube foam. He looks like there's like an electric toothbrush that's gone limp. A flaccid electric toothbrush. Oh, hey there. Tolna? Sorry, what happened? You've been trapped down here for years. I've come to rescue you on behalf of your parents. Yeah. I was looking for the legacy of a civilization that used to live down here. Son. Father? Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Don't worry. I'm just glad you're back to yourself. Are you okay? I'm fine. My memories are slowly returning. How's mother? She misses you dearly. Where is she? She's up on the surface, waiting for you. 
Thank you, Traveler. I'm glad my wife and I never gave up hope. We should return to her and tell her the good news. Thank you so much. I truly owe you for your help. I'm just glad I could help. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello, Tolna. Hi, thanks again for saving me. I'm so glad to be out of this horrible place. I was foolish to ignore my parents' warnings, but when I ran away that day, uh, when I ran away that day, luckily I've been able to patch things up with them. So they've returned home. With peace of mind. What exactly happened to you down there? I managed to find the remnants of an ancient civilization that the stories talked about. It seems people used to worship a god there years ago in numbers far greater than a simple cult following. Sadly, there is little remaining. So I have nothing else to tell. As soon as I entered this area, the ground swallowed me whole. I felt there was something watching, waiting. It's like there is some evil power under the ground that wanted me to suffer. As if it got some sort of empowerment from it. At least, whatever it is, it doesn't want to reveal itself to the world yet. So I'm guessing this is going to be an ongoing plotline. At least, we have a warning. Did you manage to retrieve anything? Not really. Just a few coins, which you're welcome to have. Thanks. So, what are you going to do now? I've decided to keep open the rift. There is a part of it that is perfectly laid out for combat training. And remnants of my subconscious remain in there. I want to show people the problems I've faced. So that they may learn from them. You're welcome to go down there and practice fighting anytime. This seems like a terrible idea. Thanks. This seems like such a terrible idea. Holy shit. Anger, weapon, cosmetic overrides. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we have to poke our head in just to see. Hey, Snow Lady, how's it going? I can't... Oh, I need the rope. Is it just the same old place? Hmm. Confusion beasts. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Let me just check the... The map. This is actually kind of cool. I don't know if there's anything for us here. Is there any lootables? Maybe the enemies have drops? I don't know. It is kind of cool, though. It looks neat. I wonder if they have drops now. Hmm. At least I can kill these guys with weapons now. Let's see. Uh, wh when was the combat update? Out of curiosity. By the way, Snow Lady, I met you in the uh, in the raid, right? In the in the big old raid. Oh no, maybe I didn't, because you're on YouTube. For some reason, I thought I recognized the name from that. Oh, okay. All right. What's next? Oh, the update came out today. Uh, okay. Talk to the odd old man in the quarry west of Paterdomus. Uh, need to kill a variety of monsters. Okay. Pater... The quarry west of Paterdomus. Let's see, where is this? Oh, is that it? Oh, this is right by, um... Seniston, right? Oh, I know where this quarry is. This is the quarry where I get the limestone. Oh, this is Seniston right here.
I swear, RuneScape has to have one of the most, like, densely packed worlds in any MMO ever. It is insane how just, like, it's places of interest right next to each other. There's, like, so little dead space. Hey, what's up, dude? Can I help you with something? Well, uh, who are you? And what are all these bones doing here? Uh... I'm an archaeologist. I, I work with the museum. Archaeologist. Yes. Well, that explains the bones, sort of, but... What are you doing all the way out here? Uh... I'm collecting bones for the museum. They've asked me to rig up some displays. Oh, because there's like... I think there's like a place up here that looks like you can like plant stuff. They've asked me to rig up some displays of second and third age creatures using their bones so that people can come and, well, look at them. I need to get them in some sort of order before I begin, but I've run into a bit of a snag. They had to redo some mountains to actually look way taller because they used to look ridiculous. Oh yeah, because the view distance used to be tiny, right? That makes sense. Yeah, it is funny that like the view distance I think used to be like you could see like to here. So, at a certain point, like, now that the view distance is, like, completely expanded, you're just like, wait, Berthor and Taverly are the same city. And then it's, like, connected to whatever. Is it, like, Falador? I can't remember what it is. It's, like, all these places, you just see all the cities right beside each other. <laughs> they don't feel like separate places because there's so many, so tightly packed. What sort of a snag? Well, I need to have all the bones I'm going to use here first. Then, I've got to put them in some sort of order. I seem to be a few bones short of a skeleton, though. Anything I can do to help with that? Oop. Uh. Uh, there is something you could do for me. I'm going to be busy here. Sorting, yes. Sorting these bones out, ready for the museum. I still need a few more, though. Will you help me out? You seem like a trustworthy lad, but I want to check something first. I want to ask about the mumbling. Oh, I can't anymore. Yes, I'll give you a hand. You will, excellent. Where do you need me to dig? Dig. Oh, you must have got the wrong end of the stick. I need some fresh whole bones to replace the ones that have become damaged. What? Uh. Excuse me? Hey, Nickman, how's it going? Shh. Sorry. Okay, got it. Wait, the bones are, are, are the ones telling him what to say? Here's the thing. While sorting out what bones I do have, I managed to lose or damage a few. If you can get me some fresh, unbroken bones to use as replacements, so that I can get on with things. Does that make things clearer? Well, it makes some sense, I suppose. Great. If you can get me a bone from a goblin, a bear, a big frog, a ram, a unicorn, a monkey, a giant rat, and a giant bat, then I'll be able to move on with, uh... Displays. So, you just want me to bring you these bones, and that will be that? <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind you boiling them in vinegar first, if you don't mind. There's a wine merchant in Draenor called Fortunato. Fortunato. What was that name from? Was it from, like, Les Mis or something? What was it? Fortunato? I don't know what the name is from. <laughs> Who sells you the, all the stuff you'll need? You can even use my pot boiler if you want. Okay, I need to look up this name, because... I, I feel like I've heard it. Fortunato. Italian form, blah, blah, blah. Oh, was it the... Cask of Amontillado? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is one of the quests of all time. Why do we need to boil them in vinegar? I get some... Bright and sparkling white. It's an archaeologist thing. Just put the bone in a pot of vinegar. 
Bro, wait, did it say it was in Draenor? Just put them in a, a pot of vinegar. Throw some logs on the fire, put the pot in the boiler, and then light the logs. It takes a short while for the vinegar to evaporate, but the bone will be nice and clean in the end. All right, I'll be back later. Bye. Okay, so this quest seems like it's going to be uh, a little tedious, but let me just think. Goblin, bear, big frog, ram, unicorn. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know where some of these things are. Okay, let's go with goblin first. You know what? I might need to look at the actual map. So the goblin, I think the closest is going to be around... God, where was it? Was it, uh... Where's the goblin village? There it is. Okay. So... I know where bears are. I think I, I I are there big frogs in the Lumbridge caves or whatever it's called? I don't know where the ram is. I do know where a unicorn is. Oh, there's a bear actually. I can just get one here. Yoink. Okay. Okay, Goblin Skull. All right, I'm going to need something from Lumbridge. Actually, let's get... Let's get the Unicorn first. So I know where that is. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so there's one on the farm here. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Murdering the poor farm unicorn. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yoink. All right. I'm guessing a monkey is probably at Karamja. Um, I, a giant bat is by Taverly. Uh, giant rat, I think, is in uh, is around uh, Port Serum. I'm trying to think if I fought a ram. Okay. So there are giant rats over here. Oh. Okay. So Taverly works. Oops. I don't want to home teleport. What am I doing? Okay. Um, let me just look at this. Okay, I know where giant bats are. Let's go to Taverly. I have a ram in my farm. <laughs> okay, so there's probably rams around our dome, I I'm guessing. I think the giant frog is probably going to be annoying. I c may there might be giant frogs around um, Mortania. That seems likely, actually. But I'm going to check out Lumbridge Swamp. There might be giant frogs in the Lumbridge Caves, but I hate the caves. I'd like to avoid the caves if I can.
Um, I might actually run to Remington just in, just because there's a bunch of farms there. <laughs> well, it, it's just it, the thing that's even more annoying than that is the poison. Oh, I guess I could have used those doors. Whatever. Sunken cost. Nice. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think. Uh, let's go. Let's go to. Oh, uh, God. We'll go to Lumbridge for now. Hmm. There's actually probably some rams by Lumbridge, I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess. I think Ardone is the most likely off the top of my head. But I could imagine there being some rams north of here. Okay, let's get rid of some crap. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's a ram. Perfect. Sorry, uh, Farmer Fred. I apologize. Okay, that was harmless. Okay. Oh, God. The only thing is, I don't recall there being any... Frogs in Lumbridge. I, I recall there being small frogs in Lumbridge Swamp. I don't recall there being big ones. Because I, I have killed the small ones there. I might have to... Oh, there are big ones in the in the caves. For sure. 100%. Okay. Flaming. Let's get this. Oh, God. We gotta go under there. Well, let's just hope we don't get poisoned. But if we do, we do. And then I'm sure there's monkeys in Karamja. There's gotta be. Oh, there were a bunch of rats here. Are there any giant frogs? Don't think there are. There's little frogs around the water altar. Okay. We gotta go down this fucking... I hate... This is my least favorite dungeon I found. Oh, I should go to... I, I need to check this place, actually. You know what? We'll go down. Okay. Nice try. Okay, let's kill. Oh, hang on. The first time I died in this game was from this place. Okay, is my charge... My dash is recharged. All right, let's get out of here. Come on. There we go. Pop past the... Wall, whatever it's called, wall monster. I do want to check out the shattered anima thing real fast. Where is the vendor that you use it on? Quartermaster, maybe? Open shop. Okay. Okay. 
Huh. What are these? Oh, these are cosmetics. So is the thing I really just want to save up for the skills? Like, bladed dive, salt of the wound, shit like that. And a maniac. Uh... Man, this stuff is really expensive. Okay, we're not going to worry about this. We're nowhere near close to getting anything worthwhile. I was like, oh, we have a fair bit of anima. We have no anima. Okay, uh, I need to go to Karamja, I think. What else am I missing? Just monkey. Wow, you know what? Uh, that has been relatively painless so far. Assuming we can find a monkey fast enough. Hmm. I don't remember monkeys here in particular, but I feel like there's gotta be. I don't know if monkeys are, like, small or if they're actual... Oh, wait, I think there are. I know I need to do, get, like, a, I need to work on Slayer again at some point. Honestly, I haven't been, um, I haven't been grinding this game off stream. I've just been doing my dailies lately. Uh, I, uh, I put in a lot of hours into this game in the first month. And I, I need a, I'm a person that needs some gaming variety, so I just, I binge too hard. So for a little bit, I've been kind of exploring some other things in my free time. And kind of reserving this as a stream game for the time being. Oh, I think I saw monkeys. No, wait, wait. get away from me. Oh, this isn't good. I, I should get a different weapon. I don't like... Oh, you know, we're fine. I just wanted to use bow for a bit, because I don't think I've ever really used bow on stream. Um, range is probably, so far... My least favorite of the combat styles thus far. But it may change. I think... Is this the one I need to do currently? I don't remember. Did I... Oh. I can't believe I just... No one pay attention that I was trying to figure out how to murder baby monkeys. Okay. Listen. If I murder the mama monkeys, aren't I effectively... Murdering baby monkeys? Range is by far your least favorite. Almost single-handedly because of snipe. Um, why is that? Because it's channeled? I find that, um, is it Ricochet? Wait, which is the, the thing that has the chain ability? Is. Uh... Oh, 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 I see them. I see them. Can I tab target you? I can't click you, so I'll tab target you. Okay, we got them. Nice. The monkey's paw. That seems, uh... Suspect? Uh-oh. Okay, so I think he said Draenor. He might have said Fal Falador, but I think he said Draenor. And what was the guy who was named Fortunato? I I heard a lot of people say like shit on melee online. I've I've enjoyed melee actually. Um one of the abilities, I think it's called destroy, feels really good. It it just like it has good sounds. It has really good sound effects. Okay. Do I need to get like the the wood and vinegar myself? Let's see. I need to buy vinegar from the wine merchant in Draenor. Okay, I see. It's hard and less powerful than it should be. Yeah, the thing that's funny is that in the early game, melee feels to me like by far the easiest. But the videos I saw online says melee is by far the most complicated end game. Because I think you have to like switch between styles to like keep up or something.
And I haven't gotten, um, I, I really want to try a halberd at some point, but I haven't gotten access to it yet. Uh, is the wine, is the wine merchant Fortunato? Yes, I think so. Did I help you at all? Um, talk about the rag and bone man. You got any vinegar? Vinegar. Vinegar. The very idea. My wines are the finest in the district. Sorry, I was told to come and speak with the wine merchant about getting some vinegar. I must have the wrong person. Wait. Did he send you? It needs a lot of unlocks to reach uh, a power level a bit under the other two. Or really, doesn't count as it's just easier and stronger. Yeah, it's funny because I've used necromancy the least. But it's a thing that... um. It feels pretty fun to train. Or, well, I shouldn't say that. I am I enjoy the progression, but I have a feeling the ritual system is going to become a slog. <laughs> but, I mean, the reality is... I feel like RuneScape is a game built for hanging out with people and talking or watching videos and podcasts. Like, RuneScape, to me, feels like... When you want to focus and do stuff that requires attention, you can do it. And then when you want, when you want to do something else and you just... I want to mindlessly kind of play an idle game. It This also acts as that and has kind of both levers you need to push. So rituals would be boring as fuck if, if you're just like, if you're actively doing it, if you're just focusing on the game. But I don't really feel like that's how RuneScape's meant to be played. I think it's more like a thing that you do while doing other stuff, which is a, a nice thing to have. Okay. If by he you mean the old man with a sack of bones, then yes. Uh, say no more, sir. I have some in spe I have some in specially. Okay. Jug of vinegar. But yeah, I, I am actually... Ex it's weird because it's one of my lowest skills. But I am actually really, really excited to get into necromancy. I think the two skills that jump out to me as having real interesting progression are necromancy and archaeology. Let me see if anything else really stands out to me. Um, I mean, Dungeoneering has interesting progression. Um, yeah, those two in particular. Um, I, I need to do more archaeology at some point. I might hold off on a bit. It is, it is too, I, I, I did not see the Seniston thing coming, so I, I spoiled a little bit for myself, although I didn't talk to anyone there. But I think I, I spoiled some of the, the scale of the game. Um, I need to give the old man some polished bones. Okay, he will sell. So they said something about a cauldron, didn't they? I'm not sure where I need to mix this. They said, oh, can I just do it like this? Wait, how am I? Uh, a pot. Oh, okay. Let's go to... I probably can have one in my bank, to be honest. Boop. Okay, and then can I use this on that? Can I use this? Do I need to light it? Okay, hang on a second. Is that something about having a, a, a pot of vinegar with burning wood or something? So do I need to just burn the wood and then put the pot on it? Let's try this. Huh. probably messed that up oh okay 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 let me get some more wood let's go to four and three head on over here. 
to the limestone quarry. Wait, what the heck was that? A root springs from the granite at your feet. What could have caused it? That's weird. Oh, shit. I was doing a quest, wasn't I? I forgot that I was doing a quest last time. Okay, we'll do that next. I started a quest at the end of the last stream, and then I forgot about it because I didn't stream this in a week. Okay. Oh, probably the fire pit. Oh, these are material caches. Add logs. I have no need for that. Something interesting happens. Okay, let's let's talk to him in a second. I want to go up here. I don't think I need to do anything up here. I just want to take a look. I know I've been up here before. Okay. I'm going to talk to him. What's up, dude? Oh, there's a pot boiler. I didn't even see that. Okay. That also contained bones? Can I only do one at a time? Okay. Nothing interesting. Wait, what? Oh, okay. There's one. Is it empty? I need to get more. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave that jug on the ground. Okay, so we have one that's polished, and we need... We need nine, right? Okay, those are all... Wait. Wait, I polished the monkey's paw. But, oh, it's the paw, not monkey bones don't count. I might just have to do eight more. Uh, okay, let's go back to Draenor. Okay, you know what though? I'm actually glad that I waited so long to do this quest because it would have been kind of annoying if I <laughs> if I didn't remember where like all the guys were. So thankfully like doing some slayer and stuff like that taught me. Hey Emily, how's it going? Okay, trade. What am I doing? Oh, did I catch Oh, it's an it's an impling. I'll take I'll do that. Hell yeah. Oops, I don't want to. I don't want to click the tree. Wait, what? Is that I blew my cover? <laughs> Hello. I want. Give me five. Give me one, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bank actually. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. We'll get rid of a couple of these. One, two, three, four, five, eight. I'm going to get one more just to be safe. Yes. Hmm. That wall doesn't look very good. No, it doesn't. Are you going to tell me what happened? Oh my god, wait. There's a fucking... There's a dude in the tree. Are you going to tell me what happened? I could do. Okay, go on. Someone smashed the wall when they were robbing the bank. Someone robbed the bank? Yes. But was anyone hurt? Did they get anything valuable? Yes, but we were able to get more staff to mend the wall easily. 
Uh, the bank has already replaced all the stolen items that belong to customers. Oh, good, but the bank staff got hurt. Yes, but the new ones are just as good. You're not very nice, are you? No one's expecting me to be nice. Anyways, so someone robbed the bank. Yes. You know who did it? We are fairly sure we know who the robber was. The security recording was damaged in the attack, but it still shows his face clearly enough. You've got security recording? Yes, our insurer has insisted that we install the magical scrying orb. Can I see the recording? I suppose so, but it's quite long. That's okay, show me the recording. All right, the bank's magical playback device will feed the recorded images in your mind. Just shut your eyes. Okay, everyone, shut your eyes. Uh, hey, get your hands off there. The guy's still in the tree right now. Wait, it's actually just showing the bank right now? Wait, oh, never mind. Trade, I have gnats. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, was this the old wise man shot him? Olivia, please go away. What is going on? I oh, know I can get on with it. Is the old wise man? Everyone, please move now. What the fuck? What's he doing? I do wish he'd stop. Why is the old wise man doing this? My sincerest regrets, dear lady. Is he being framed? How do you do that? Oh dear, another one. He killed a bunny man. Oh, a party hat. Just give me the money, please. Old man. Oh, God. Oh, is he... Does he have Guthic staff? No, he has Sarah Doman staff, right? And you can stop spying on me. Oh, jeez. I think that's the staff of Sarah Doman. And a recording. That was interesting. Greetings. Thank you to, to ask you something. Your hat. I want to ask about your hat. Oh, thank you. I rather like it myself. Soul of the woman in the bank. Your soul is valuable stuff too. Stole it. How could you possibly think I did such a thing? I saw you robbing the bank. You killed all those people. Eerie me, Curly's Fry. Your imagination is running wild. What could make uh, you think you saw me do that? I've seen a security recording that shows you robbing the bank. The bank's guard showed it to me. I've seen the bank's security recording. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, well, at least you'll never be able to tell the bank about me. They'll never listen. So you're just going to get away with it? That's my plan, yes. But that's, well... Wrong! I feel like my character has no legs to stand on. Wrong, wrong, I'll tell you what's wrong. I've spent my whole life traveling the world doing quests for people, saving lives, saving villages from terrifying monsters, and all that sort of thing. Now I'm old, and where do I have to live? In this freezing old town next to a pigsty, with a bunch of yobs outside who can't keep their hands off the market stalls. What sort of reward is that? So don't talk to me about right and wrong. Maybe someone should talk to you about right and wrong. Bah! Hm. Now, if you've got that off your chest, what else, is there anything else you'd like to ask me? How can I get a hat like that? <laughs> uh, sadly, these hats are very rare. Maybe some other player would be willing to sell you theirs. I'm sorry, I'm an Iron Man. But it would be incredibly expensive. Is this like an event hat from, uh, like, you know, an early RuneScape event or something? That hat is worth 80 billion gold. I presume it's, uh, yeah, okay. So my character is literally probably unable to ever get that hat. Oh, well, I'm an Iron Man, so I can't buy it from another player. Can I buy your hat? Oh, no, I don't intend to part with this. 
Would you like to ask me about something else? <laughs> okay, guys. We're starting a new non-Iron Man playthrough. Solely to buy that hat. Donations of 80 million gold are well or 80 billion gold are welcome. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to uh four and three. Hmm. Is there a um is there a speedrun category for getting that hat? A hat percent speedrun? If not, there should be. It would be a stupid category because <laughs> it, it requires buying from other players. You could just have someone hook you up with it instantly. You could just have an alt account. Use on this. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Use on this. Oh. Okay, come on. I doubt we need to do those monkey bones, but I'm not... Actually, maybe we do. I don't freaking know. Hmm. When did we pick up the talisman? Oh, I, didn't, I haven't lit it. God dang it. Okay. Use on that. Let's get polished bear ribs down there. Let's use ram skull on that. Let's add logs. I'm going to need some more wood. Let's light it. Let's drop this jug, because who cares? While I wait, I'm going to check my endless notifications. Boop, boop, boop. Everything's good. Amazing. Get the bone. All right. Use vinegar on that. Get rid of this. Use bat bones on this. Oh, is this the wrong type of bones from a bat? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Let me guess. I can't use this either, right? Okay. We'll just bury these to clear up some space. Oh, that's an empty jug. Okay. Let's get some wood. I'm glad my internet has been working for like the past week. I don't know what, uh, for some reason, I have this problem where every few months, I just have terrible internet for one week that nothing can change it. So I'm, I'm, I think it might be a provider thing. And then it's just fine. So thankfully we're back in the good phase because oh my God, was that frustrating. All right. <laughs> Oops, I don't want to pick that up. Okay, add logs. <laughs> they were trying to save me. They're like, this game ruined my life. I lost my son to RuneScape. Not you too. Use. Use. All 
Okay. I think we're short one log. Use. Use. Okay. No! Give me my bones. Okay. Use. Oh, that's a polished one. Use. Is this guy making like a horrible homunculus? Oh, we did have enough. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Let's check the quest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Bam. Get out of here, Jug. I have some bones for you. Great, let me take a look at them. That's the last of them. The museum will be thrilled to know I've completed the collection. Well, I'm glad I could help been a big help and no mistake always on the lookout for fresh bones so if you ever see any of the ones on my list I'll bring them right over I have it pinned outside on my shack whenever you want to check it no problem I'll be sure to bring you anything you might like I can't wait to see the displays once they are finished okay I, that quest was actually less painful than I thought it was going to be I thought that quest was going to be really painful, to be totally honest. This guy's got a bone list. A bone list sounds like, uh... Sounds like one of those, you know, Excel documents that people keep where they're like... You know, people's black books. Oh yeah, Nathan. I rate him a 7 out of 10. That's the bone list. Okay, we need to do this quest that I forgot about. Boom. Set active. Okay, so let's just deposit everything. Let's go over to construction. Uh, let's go with maple. You, uh, should I go? I might go you, actually. I know this is crazy. Um... Hold on a second. Just because I feel like you is more convenient for me to get than Maple, even though Maple's a lower tier. I don't think I should meddle with this right now. Alright, what are you up to today? Man, I'd just be chilling, taking it easy. Uh, taking it easy, like. But there's so much to do. Oh, like what? Oh, sorry, did I need you to do a beacon down here first? Sorry, dude. I know it's a total bummer. But I've got to focus right now. Catch you later, yeah? Oh, sure. Good luck with everything. Okay. So the previous one we did was over by um, where we just were. Right, was over here. And then they told us to do a 
come to a beacon over here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, Blaze asked me to light a beacon tended by Squire Fire, which is located just to the west of the Rag and Man, the uh, Rag and Bone Man. Is this him? No. This is the Rag and Bone Man's, isn't it? Just to the west. So it's the other side. Oh, it's. Oopsie. Oopsie. Is this not the Rag and Bone Man's? Uh. Oh, the rag and bone man. Oh, I thought that was a. Uh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Sorry, I was. Th I was thinking that was the name of a. What is this thing? Oh, that's what it is. You jerk. Yeah, let's take this asshole down. Hell yeah. Yeah, suck it. Trees. I'm good at role playing. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to make you get all sappy I'm gonna count your rings you're yesterday days old see I'm nailing this uh tree trash talk Oh god. Oh god, I I'm loving this guy. After this is over, I'm going to be morning wood. this Axton Obstig is, but this guy is a champ, okay? I'm gonna root out the real prob problem here. So stupid. 
I've never done an evil tree before. I don't know what the deal with this is. Am I supposed to be burning this kindling? <laughs> oh, God. Let's stick it to him. Is that part of the tree's already on fire? Oh, I failed. Okay, so is the purpose to chop the tree to get kindling? and then completely burn around it. I'm guessing that's the goal. champion for it. Play fire. Does lighting the fire prevent just prevent the dudes from coming up? Maybe it just prevents vines from raising. I don't know. Play fire. Oh, should I not be lighting on fire? Is this a mistake? Am I ruining the tree experience for him? I have. I've um I've done a few of them, probably like four or five. I've done the prayer one with the ghosts. I've done the tree one. I've done the um I've done a mining one, I think. I've done the butterfly one. And that might be it. I might have just done four. After this, I'll need to branch out and do something else. What'll you do after this? <laughs> Mahogany need some uh, more to 
puns. I'm running out. <laughs> Oops, what? Amazing. We did it. Have a nice life. Have a nice life is a thing I say to my friends now. When it, instead of like have a good day, I say like have have a nice life. And all they're always just like, what do you say? I'm gonna to talk to you again. I was like, I know, but why would I just wish for you to have one good day? I wanna wish for you to have every good day. Oh, is this it? The beacon is lit. And doesn't it look fantastic? Oh, I could gaze into such beautiful flames for hours. Oh, too bad. I just have to keep an eye on the horizon as well. But I'm keeping you too long. You should report back to Blaze and to make sure he can see the beacon clearly. I will, thanks. I also like that he was a fellow gray. What is the most common of the um, sorting houses? I feel like, I feel like, I'm going to guess the least popular is blue. That's my prediction. Yeah, yeah. Who, who the heck would want to be blue? It's bad when, like, blue are both, like, the goody two-shoes, but they're also hypocrites, you know? You're like, who would, who would actively choose Sarah Doman? Ah, uh, Curly's Fry, you're back. Great news. I can see you've managed to light the beacon over yonder. Many thanks. Can you really see it from this far? I can. Absolutely, I can see a warm, delicious glow on the horizon. If you have sharp eyes, you know what to look for. It's trivial. The beacon, however, is struggling at the moment. Do you see how the fire has died down? Yes, the fire's a bit smaller and the logs look rather charred. If a beacon starts to die down, you can restore it to, to its blazing glory by adding five logs. You wouldn't mind topping this one down for me, would you? Oh, I'd love to see things burn. Oh, all right. Don't... All right, then. God damn it. More fire for me. Backing away now. Okay, I need some more logs. A willow seed and a morcella mushroom spore. Okay. So I don't know how worth it was... Worth it it was. I didn't see what I got. What is that sound? What is what what are the sounds that's occurring to me? Wait, do I have a prayer act? Oh, I'm dumb. I am dumb. Oh, 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 it's auto banking. Oh, 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 I get it. Oh, my God. I was like, I was very confused. Oh, God. 
<laughs> hey, but the, uh, you know what, though? It was cool to have a new experience doing a new, a new thing, you know? All right. Can I get 25? God, part of me wants to do the four and three quests. But I also know that it's going to be like. Really chronologically like out of order. Big spoilers. I think someone warned me not to do those quests for some time. The rest of them. Because I think I just don't have the context for it to have any impact. Okay. You want to use five logs in the fire? Yes, I do. After Defender of Varrock? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not struggling with construction experience. I'm at uh, 81. The only reason I want to do it is because uh, basically I can't progress my buildings there until I do more. But I don't really need the buildings, right? Oh, I should probably talk to him. I've added some logs to the beacon. It's now blazing away. Beautiful, mesmerizing. Uh, Blaze? Ah, uh, yes, it's you again. Brilliant work. An incandescent effort. That's very, um... What's the guy's name? Solaire of you? So, what now? We're all pretty pleased with the results of the trial run. And are gearing up for more serious testing. There's a lot at stake. So, we'll need to test out our the entire network as soon as possible. Uh, when's all this to take place? Imminently, I'm sure. We're just waiting for word from King Rowald. Speaking of which, have you reported back to him about the progress we've made? Not yet, I'm afraid. Well, what are you waiting for? This is a serious matter. I'm sure King Rowald is on the edge of his throne, waiting for the news. I'll get right on that. Okay, let's go back to Varrock. So what was the best of all the tree puns? Mm -hmm. I know which the worst was. The worst was, I'm gonna mahogany need some more uh, puns after this. That one was fucking god-awful. All right. Oh, Ozan, what you doing here? All right, all fired up. Ah, it's you again. Hello there. I'm happy to report that the Beacon Network seems to be working as expected. Excellent. I'm delighted to hear it. So about the reward you promised. What happened to the days when the adventurers felt rewarded in full by the knowledge of a job well done? Well, before my time, uh, I'm afraid. Hm. Well, I suppose a king must stick to his word. Mind you, let me stress how grateful we are. And how grateful... I, I thought that quest was going to be testing literally the whole network. Uh, mind you, let me stress how grateful we are and how grateful we'd be if you continue helping us test these beacons. There is much more to be done. And this is but a pittance compared to what I'm willing to offer for f further assistance. Buy all fired up beacon network and minigame. Okay. So is that a thing to like... Oh, really? Okay. Good to know. I'm not going to need all this wood. Mm, let's go back over here, actually. 
This sign would be creepy as fuck in real life. Hey, how's it going? All right, I'm gonna switch over to this for now. Uh, get some of these. All right, wolf whistle. What's the deal with this? Uh, okay, so there was a 20, 2008 quest called Wolf Whistle, but this one has replaced it. It's fully voice acted, as it seems like a lot of the 2012 stuff was fully voice acted. Um, where is it? Uh, talk to Pickup Sticks in his house in Taverly. All right, cool. Yeah, it, it's it, you can you can see the like vibe of the 2012 quests. Is so different. I wonder how much more those like costed to produce. Okay. I like how it says it's in Taverly, but I go to Birthorp instead because the difference in time is like almost negligible. I just always instinctively click Birthorp when I'm thinking of Taverly because that's where the bank is. Ooh, in here. Oh, yeah, got summoning and hunter up to 50 yesterday, so that's nice. So most of my things are at 50, I think, right? Oh, I got, I also got th uh, thieving up to 50 yesterday. So I, I guess I need to get necromancy up to 50. So that I have everything up to 50 minus uh, the elite skill. All right. What's up, pickup six? Hello there. Welcome to my humble abode. How can I help you? You have a quest for me. Hello there, I'm Curlius Fry, the adventurer. Do you have a quest for me? Uh, well, I do have something you could look into, although I don't know if I would call it a quest as such. I wonder how people would react in real life if you asked for quests from people. Like if you were like, Hi, welcome to Subway, can I take your order? Yes, uh, do you have a quest for me? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, what? You have a quest. I'm looking for a quest. Like, how, how would they react? I feel like, you know what? I feel like g trying to do quests would be a great topic for IRL streams. Well, I do have something you could look into. Although, I don't know. If I would call it a quest as such. But if you do have some time free, could you look into the whereabouts of my two assistants, Scalectrix and Bowl of Tricks? Oh, Jesus Christ, Bowl of Tricks? Oh, uh, let me guess. There's going to be a Tricks are for kids. Pick up sticks. What is Scalectrix? Scale. I'm being dumb. I'm missing the, the pun. Electric scale. Le what is the pun of that first one? Anyway, okay. We know what bowl of tricks is. Why? Have they gone missing? Well, they're only slightly late compared to poor Felix. Actually, they are quite late to me. Honest. I sent them out this morning to gather supplies, and they have not returned. It is a little worrying. They were over by the old dry well in West Taverley, opposite the water mill. Could you take a look for me? Okay, uh, let's do it. All right, I'm sure they'll be fine. They're probably just taking their time, or maybe stop for a chat. Oh, I do hope so. Thank you, my lad. All right. Oh, Asterix and Obelix. I remember that shit. We had to, we had to watch that in uh, French class. Ide Was there also an Ide Fix? Oh, really?
Okay. Oh, hey there, scale. Oh, hello. Hey, are you Scalatrix, the assistant to pickup sticks? Yes. How did you know that? So who was the other one? Like Fele, Fele Tricks or something? There was also a, uh, wasn't there like Pick and Mix or something? Didn't he have like, a, uh, I think he had another one. Yes, how did you know that? He sent me to find you. Apparently, you were supposed to be back a while ago. Well, I would have come back, but Bowl of Tricks has been captured by trolls. I've been waiting here for someone to come and help me. Trolls, where are they? They're in this well, but don't go in there. There are way too many to handle. We need something to keep them at bay or break them up. Something that will scare them. I tried using the Ooh. spirit wolf, but they just laughed. The leaders seem immune to the howl of the spirit wolf. But without something to thin their numbers, we'll never get Bowl of Tricks back. Please, sir, can you let Pickup Sticks know what has happened? I'm sure with your help, he can come up with something to drive away these trolls. Look, I'll just go in there and take a look myself. I'm trained for this sort of thing, after Be all. Be careful. So is this supposed to be a tutorial for using summoning wolves? All right, you trolls, let the dru druid go. Wow, there certainly are a lot of you. <laughs> More food come to us. I feel like I should have used uh, magic for this. I warn you, you'd better let him go. Oh, what? Wolf bones think you're not gonna last long. Especially not if we cut them into little bitty bites. Full of tricks. Don't worry. I'm gonna go and get help. Please hurry. You know what? What am I doing? Really? If we stand here and think about it, what the heck am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Why am I out here using my level 52 skill for beginner quests when I could use my level 38? Let's do some rookie necromancy. Although I haven't really used necromancy compared to the others, so I'm not sure what skills are really good. Okay. And let's just get a couple. I haven't really used summoning. I've mostly been selling back the guys I've made. Okay. Oh, this guy probably wants me to make a... I'm guessing. Whatever. I'll, I'll get wolf summon stuff if he tells me to. <laughs> Gotta forget what these skills do. Oh, God. Necrosis stack. Oh, I haven't really used this in a while. This is an ultimate ability... Okay, whatever. We'll deal with this as time goes. Hey, Carl, how's it going? Hello there. Welcome to my... Bull of Tricks has been uh, kidnapped by trolls. Oh, no. This is terrible. It's Scale Tricks, all right. Yes, she is keeping an eye on, on the trolls by the well. She says there are too many trolls to attack directly. She tried scaring them away, but a spirit wolf didn't work. Do you have anything more powerful that could work? A spirit chicken. I might well do, but it's risky. Although with you assisting me, we might well do it. I sense deep wells of energy within you that you could tap. You might even survive. Okay, that's promising. Well, thanks. I... I might what now? We are going to attempt a momentous feat of summoning. We are going to try and summon a giant Wolpertinger. Okay. How will that help? A giant Wolpertinger is a legendary spirit creature that can generate an aura of fear so potent that even a horde of trolls will flee in terror at its approach. 
Usually, such a summoning would take a circle of experienced druids, but we have to clear out that horde before they attack. We will begin immediately. I need you to bring me a few things. I will need you to bring me my ancient wolf bone amulet, mm. some white hair meat, and an embroidered pouch. I will also need to give you a blessed spirit shard and a gray charm. Ancient wolf bone amulet and white hair meat. The amulet should be with my assistant, Stickleblix. He took it to White Wolf Mountain, which is the large range to the west of okay. the family. The hair meat is available from the pet shop, which is on the bottom floor of the building to the south of here. The pouch is lost somewhere upstairs. I managed to lose it in a rather violent kerfuffle. And of course, I have the last two items here when you are ready for them. Isn't it kerfuffle, K-E-R? Okay, I'd better go. Well, best of luck in your hunt. Actually, should I talk to him about this shit? Well, how goes the hunt? Uh... I gave it to my assistant. Stick okay, he's, he's just going to update to us on this stuff. All right. Let's search through the books. Destroy every item I find. What are you talking about? Oh. Oops, I don't want to climb that. Is it over here? Yeah, have I searched all of these? I think... Oh, maybe I've missed some of these books. Huh. Okay. So you're saying I should destroy it and then talk to him about it? <laughs> and I'm not just going to ruin this quest forever. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hello there. Welcome to my humble ab How goes the hunt? I need to ask. Uh the things I need, alright. Embroidered pouch. Where did you lose it? Have you tried looking there for it again? Alright. It's number one. <laughs> okay. House south, so it's over here. Don't worry, Nick Man, I'm not judging you for the <laughs> for if that one hit the the threshold of funny. Ask about white hair meat. Oh, there, do you sell white hair yes, meat? Yes, I do. I stock it as a treat for the animals, but some people around here snap it up for themselves. Waste not, want not. I get it imported from a <laughs> very reputable trapper in Mauritania called Rufus. I feel like this guy's hair and uh, mustache don't match. He has very emo hair. A second. Okay. I get it imported from a very reputable tra trapper in Mauritania called Rufus. He always knows how to get the best meat for the animals and ships it, pre-skinned, boned and cut. White hair, basilisk, chinchompa, veal. It's all very interesting, but you happen to have some white hair meat I could have. It's an emergency. Okay. Well, if it's an emergency, I suppose I can let you have some. I hope things work out for you. Thanks, buddy. Is there anything else I can help you with? 
Uh, I, can you watch me do this? Get out of here. Hello there. Welcome. How goes the hunt? Wet hair meat. Wonderful. Where is it? I have no idea. Hmm? Did I check with the pet shop owner to see if he has some more? Yes. Yes, you should. Okay. Let's talk to this dude. Hello. I want more. Well, I do, but what about the portion I gave you earlier? I may have accidentally lost it. I do hope this emergency is cleared up soon. I only have a few bits left. Hello there, do you sell white hair meat? Well, I do, but okay. what about the poor? Okay, nothing new. I do hope this emergency is... All right. He's very trusting about emergencies. As I'm threateningly stomping the rare white hair meat in front of his eyes. It's... <laughs> do you have this meat? Well, I do, but it's it's pretty rare. It's an emergency. Okay, you can have it. And then I fucking punt it. <laughs> He's like, what? Why? I... Just give him trust issues over punting his meat. Whoa, that sounded, uh... Listen, if someone punted my meat, I would have trust issues too. So I, uh, I take it back. Hey, wait. Where's, uh... I feel like it can't be through here. I feel like this area is too... Hmm, a land of story I've never seen before. Ra ra ra. Oh, is this a whole quest? Okay, I'm gonna go back and uh, talk to the dude. To hear what his info is. He said it was at White Wolf Mountain, right? Maybe it's someone down here. Fucking someone's in Betamax? Oh my god. This freaking game. Are we gonna see someone named DVD? First name D, last name VD. All right, I need to ask you about something. Welcome. How goes the hunt? Wolfbone amulet. I gave it to my assistant Sticklebricks when I sent him over to White Wolf Mountain to bring me some wolf. Although now I come to think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. Hmm. about a week. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Anyway, I'm sure you'll find him in good health. White Wolf Mountain is to the west of here. You will need to cross the river at the bridge to the southwest. I'd suggest taking some food. There are... Okay. I think I did uh, look at the name of that person at one point. I can't remember it. Let's, let's go back and get a, a pun refresher. God, I remember there was... There was one name recently that when it hit me what it was, it was like, I forgot what it was, it was like Mistake or something. Oh yeah, Tanya Hyde. Oh my god. Ask him about how unfortunate his assistants are. Okay, let's see. So, I'm gonna guess he's not in the portal. I'm guessing the portal's part of a quest. I still have never done the, um, the grappling hook thing. All right. Oh, wait, there's a... Is the dude up here? Oh, Sticklebricks is there. You take this amulet from the sad remains of Sticklebricks. Okay, destroying this is fucked up.
Uh, ask him about how unfortunate his assistants are later. It was there. Let's see. Oh, true. Good point. He's just taking a nap. Hello there. Welcome to my humble abode. Look at this intense. How can I help you? This person is very intense compared to... <laughs> Look at the difference in our character design. We have this guy who's like from... Some like from fucking Destiny or Diablo 4. Then we have me, which is, it was just horrible. How goes the hunt? Okay. No matter, the amulet is enchanted to return to the owner, and in this case, that is currently Sticklebricks. So go and search him again. Uh, this time, try and take better care of it. I feel like Pickup Six should have uh such a low opinion well, of me right now. Best of luck in your hunt. Hello there. Pick and mix. I'm here to talk about the obelisks. Pick and mix is investigating. Oh, is that the guy who? Ah, my apprentice, pick and mix. He's coming along quite nicely, learning the art of familiarization. Okay. Hello there. Welcome. How goes the hunt? Uh, rare summoning items. Of course. Remember, these are extremely rare and precious. So I plead that you take good care of them. Okay, Grey Charm, Blessed Spirit Shard. Well, you should know I'm pretty skilled at holding things. I should be able to keep this safe. I hope you're right. These are very valuable relics. Goodbye. Hello there. Welcome. How goes the hunt? Yes. Theoretically, how rare and how unique were they? Rare and unique enough for me to enchant them to return to me if they were lost. So imagine my surprise when I turn around and find them lying on my table. <laughs> Funny story. Save it. Take them back and try not to drop them this time. Okay. Okay, let's get the last one. <laughs> Our character is a weird mix between, like, sometimes heroic, sometimes evil, and sometimes an idiot. My character's alignment is true chaotic. Okay. So, I believe I have all the items. I have all the items I see what I've here. heard about you is more than true. You've got everything right here. But now, before you go running off, let me do something. What was that about? I have some spirit helpers that sometimes do tasks for me. In this case, I just ask them to make sure that these items will all return to me if they get lost or damaged. Now, all you have to do is go and infuse them with the obelisk there. You 
won't have to worry about picking which pouch to make, as you know exactly what to make from these items. Then what? Well, you should come over here and let me inspect your work. You never know what could go wrong with such a monumental summoning effort like this one. All right, let's do it. You craft a giant Wolpertinger pouch. It thrums with barely contained power. I should check out with pickup sticks. Uh, I should check with pickup sticks. That this is how it's supposed to look. Hello there. Welcome to my humble ab. Have you done it? Do you have the pouch? You seem to have some, uh, ha have had some problems with your assistance. Uh, you are right. It has been pretty hard since the war started. Well, what's happened? Have the trolls been killing them, or has it all been down to accidents? It is a mixture of both, really. Oh, to be honest, I have always found that my assistants have had a lot of eagerness and a lot less common sense for self-preservation. Now, let me see. You already know about Sticklebricks. Who else was there? There was poor Lunatrix, who went mad. He tried to commune with some oh, elder God. spirits, and they were not happy. Lunatrix went mad? Oh, my God. Last I saw of him, he went running out of the door with his pants on his head. Then there was Ashtrix. He managed to cut his own hand off, the poor fool. <laughs> okay. It would have been all right, except he then managed to wedge a hacksaw in the stump, and in his delirium wouldn't let anyone help him. Then there was Spartrix, who was captured by the Black Knights and taken as a slave. I hear that he tried to lead a slave rebellion, which, while noble in itself, is not really the sort of thing a five-foot sickly bookish druid should do. So the Black Knight Fortress, from what I've seen, is underground in the Taverly Dungeon. I've had to turn in some archaeology things there. Especially when unarmed and facing evil knights in full plate mail. Let's see, there was Beezletrix and the Smoke Devil. We literally lost Felitrix. Those trolls took the twins when they were healing soldiers on the front line. And the less said about Hastrix, the better. Wow. You really haven't had much luck with assistance. It has been one heck of a busy week. Oh. Is a fortress, like, up in the wilderness? Is that the big... The fortress. Okay, okay. I have no clue what the Black Knights are. It has been one heck of a busy week, I tell you. Now, is there anything else you need? It's interesting how much this game is kind of like... We're doing all these little intros, and they're kind of like setting up things that you know are going to be relevant later. I have a question. Have you done it? Do you have the? I made the Wolpertinger pouch. Phenomenal! I knew I sensed great things in your future, my assistant. Come, let me see it. Here it is. I had never thought we'd have needed one of these in my lifetime. Well done. I think you are ready. Take this to scale, Atrix. With her help, you should be able to summon this spirit beast and rout the troll. So I can't do this on my own. No, no. The energy needed to summon this beast is too much for just one person. Even with the pair of you, it will only last a few moments. But scale, Atrix is strong too. Between you both, you should be able to accomplish this. All right. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed it off. But I did get a, a tier 3 Death Guard and Skull Lantern and, and uh, gear. I don't think I showed that off, but I do have the tier 3s. Oh, I just realized I don't have a Necromancy Cape. Hmm. Did I get one and I'm just not wearing I didn't put it in the set? I don't know. I have a giant Wolpertinger pouch. Here, take a look. A giant Wolpertinger pouch? I never thought I'd see one. A 
just the two of us, it'll be a stretch, and we'll only be able to summon it for a few seconds. But that might be all the time we need. Come on, let's get Bowl of Tricks before he becomes a bowl of Bowl of Tricks. Oh, God. All right, trolls, time for round two. Is he already dead? Nope, he's fine. This is it. Get ready. It's the girly that had the wolf. We got more druid meat for the big fight, lads. You want to eat something? Chew on this, you filthy animals. Yes. Feel the true power of the druids. A big bunny! That's not scary at all! <laughs> it's scaring me? Why is it scaring me? Leg it! It's gonna eat us all! It messing with wolf meat brains! It in my head! Make it stop! Wolf behold me! Quick, let's get Bull of Tricks before they regroup. Yes, the Wolpertinger won't last long. In fact, there it goes. Well, let's get Bull of Tricks and get out. Oh dear. I hope he's all right. Thank you both. I was a goner until you showed up. Well, he's the one you should really be thanking. Without him, we'd never have been able to call the Wolpertinger. Yes. Thank you very much, hero. Oh, I missed the Ash trick. Sounds like an Evil Dead reference. Hmm. Oh, oh, you mean because of the, uh, because the guy in Evil Dead is named Ash and he has, like, the chainsaw arm? Have you guys ever seen Ash versus the Evil Dead? I saw a few episodes of that. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which... For one of my dad's birthdays, I got him, um, for his wrapping paper, I just printed off a ton of pictures of Bruce Campbell and wrapped his present in homemade Bruce Campbell wrapping paper. And my card was a card with a picture of Bruce Campbell. And I, it, it said something to the effect of, like, something about, um... Bruce Campbell being the manliest man alive except for my dad or something. Some stupid joke that was like... So, so he, has, he has no connection to Bruce Campbell. He was like, what the fuck? He was just disappointed in me as I'm handing him this Bruce Campbell-themed gift for no reason. Yes, thank you very much, Hero. No problem. I'm just glad we got you out of there before you were badly injured. Especially as that means you'll be able to come back and help with Pick Up Sticks' next project. Uh, well, yes. Oh, how, how? I think the troll's cracked one of my ribs. I should get that steam to right away. Oh, you poor man. Go see the healers before you faint. He seemed to run quite quickly for a man with a cracked rib. Maybe he was in such pain he wanted to get there quickly. Anyway, he's alive and well, all thanks to you. <laughs> You have earbuds in a frying pan. I, uh... Ooh, what do we get? Nice. Yeah, so I, uh... The thing with my dad was... He, he's the kind of guy who... If he, if he wants something, he'll just buy it for himself. So it makes him really, really hard to buy for. Ooh, we got a, a lot of gold charms. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, he's, he's pretty hard to buy for because he... You can't really get him anything special. Because special things he already has. So you just have to kind of get him, like... I, I, You know, I've just given up on, on getting things that he'll be, like, really excited about. And now I just, I'm like, okay, he'll like booze. He'll like, you know, like it's... Like, I just go for something that I know he'll use. Rather than, like, trying to do something special and just, like... You know, kind of going in the basement. But there was a phase where I, I had kind of lost faith on the ability to give a good gift. So I was just memeing out a bit. So that was, that was deep in the meme... Meme phase. Of gifts. Okay. Uh, Caravan Nor- Ooh, we've seen her, actually. We 
Yeah, I remember one Father's Day, for no reason, I got him, like, a double feature of, like, fucking... What was it? It was, like... It was, like, Con Air and Collateral Damage or something. It was just, like... It was just the dumbest sh I was just, like... I was so, like, I don't even fucking know anymore, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fucking meme out. Yeah, I... I, I had given up for a little. Okay. I remember you. Welcome, traveler. What can I do for you this fine day? Hmm. Something smells rather interesting. Cha, that would be the cauldron. That would. I'm brewing up a mean batch of the good stuff, don't you know? Oh, right. She's like randomly like from fucking, uh... Like Wisconsin or but not, but not um, uh, Minnesota. What's that then? Listen, I'm not doing a Minnesotan accent. I can't do it, okay? The little tinge of Canadian in my voice is the closest you're going to get. Oh, it'll be the most top-notch bees knees socked, sock off knock and premium batcheroo you ever did see. But such an extraordinary brew isn't easy to make, don't you know? Oh, God, my freaking... Uh, my freaking grandma on my dad's side was a Newfoundlander. And she used to say, ever did see so much. Oh, that's the... That's the saltiest pork I ever did see. Salt enough for me. Yeah, she had a very specific. Where are you going to? <laughs> yeah, my, dad's a, my dad is a Newfie. But such an extraordinary brew isn't easy to make, don't you know? What it really needs is some sparkle, some pizzazz, some of the old razzle-dazzle. Razzle-dazzle? Classic old-school enchantment. That's what I'm talking about, Cha. Without it, uh, without a bit of witchly charm, the slop will be as useful as an axe made out of toadstools. Only thing is, old babe over there has the sniffles, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish it off. I don't want to leave her alone in this condition. Is there any way I could help? Uh, you know what? Let, let's talk to her. Although, yeah, it's funny, because my dad grew up in, like, Alberta and, and like, S Saskatchewan and stuff, so he doesn't have the Newfie voice, but apparently when he was a kid, he had to go through, like, speech therapy for them to train the Newfie out of his voice. Because a lot of a lot of people from Newfoundland, like, if you, if you were to listen to them talk, um, sometimes the accent is so thick, it's like you can't understand it. It's like... You know, it's like sometimes you listen to someone with like a really thick Scottish accent and they're speaking the same language as you, but you can't like pick it out with like the with the slang and all that stuff. A Newfoundland accent can be like that. So, about these oxen. Yes, poor old babe. Cha. I hope she gets over her sniffles soon. After all, I could hardly ask her to pull this old car uh, caravan in the condition she's in, Cha. It spells, uh, oh, your house appears to be on wheels. Observant you are, Cha. Of course it's on wheels. How else would I get around otherwise? Get around? Oh, yes. I like to keep moving, don't you know? There's nothing I hate more than being stuck in the same place for too long. Okay. I want to ask her about being a witch. Razzle dazzle. Okay, but aren't you a witch? That I am, Cha. However, a, a brew this good needs the help of at least three experienced witches, not including the cook. Okay, is there any way I could help? Except. Why, yes, come to think of it, there is something you could do, Cha. Really, the only thing left to finish off this old brewer Rooney is to give it a stir with an enchanted broomstick. Adds a bit of flavor and spark, don't you know? So it happens. I have a broom right here. So what's the problem then? Well, the broom hasn't been properly enchanted. That's what. Good stuff like this will only come out when there are several witches involved. Hetty, Betty, and Aggie. Maggie? Wait. Hetty, Betty, Maggie, and Aggie are the perfect ladies for the job. We've worked together beforehand. And if you can get them to work 
their magic on this old brew of mine. We'll have a cauldron full of something quite spectacular when all is said and done. If I gave you my broom, could you take it to Hetty in Remington, Betty in Port Sarum, and Aggie in Draenor, and ask each of them to enchant it for me? Okay. Hetty is in Remington, Port Sarum, Draenor. I'd be more than willing to share the good stuff all around. Sure, I can do that. Excellent. Here's my broom, then. Hurry back once they're enchanted, won't you? Of course. Okay, so let's go to Port Sarum. Uh, do I need to do them in order? Because Remington is closest to Port Sarum. I'm actually surprised Remington doesn't have a waypoint, but maybe it's just not important enough. Who knows? So where's Aggie? Um... Is she going to be the per the wand seller? I bought gear from her. If this is her. No. Oh, wrong place. Oh, that's Betty. Okay. Talk to Betty. Yeah, I bought armor and stuff from her. And I used to buy runes from her before I was able to get my own runes. Welcome to the Magic Emporium. Dr. Robot swept away. I was wondering if you could help me out with an enchantment. I suppose that depends on what sort of enchantment you're looking for. Well, Maggie needs her broom enchanted so she can finish the stuff she's brewing in her cauldron. Ah, I see. She's brewing again, is she? Well, I'd be happy to help. Maggie always comes up with the most amazing brews. Wonderful, thank you so much. Now, Maggie always likes things on the spicy side, so what I need uh, for this sort of enchantment is my wand. I keep it down in the cellar in a locked chest. If you could retrieve it, the wand, and bring it to me, I'd be happy to enchant Maggie's broom for you. There's just one little problem. What's that? You see, my chest is locked tightly by highly magical means. I'd explain it to you in detail, but I haven't the time. I'll find my apprentice Lottie downstairs. Just pop down the trap door and tell her I sent you. She'll be all too happy to explain everything. Okay, thanks. Okay. Is this a, a mugger in here? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, God. So, what do you want, then? Uh, who are you, and what are you doing in Betty's basement? My name is Lottie, and I'm doing... Re it's rather... It should be rather obvious what I'm doing here. Are you the cleaning lady? I most certainly am not. I'm le learning the ways of witchcraft from Betty. If you knew anything at all, you'd be able to tell from my witchly deportment and aura of mysticism and enchantment that radiates from my every pore. Aura of what now? Mysticism and enchantment... My brilliance permeates the room, I'm sure. So, if you're so amazing, why are you still a witch in training and not a fully-fledged witch in your own right? A mere formality, I'm sure. I think it's something to do with the minimum age at which one can apply for one's witching license. Ah, of course. Anyways, this person has the angriest eyebrows. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the shadow tripping me out. What is this place? Well, if you'd use your eyes, you could tell it is. I know this is going to be difficult to believe. A basement. Oh, very helpful. I can see it's a basement. But what are these cages doing down here? I see. You don't know witchcraft very well. This is Betty's menagerie. Uh, many witches keep some creatures on hand for their spells and incantations. Not to mention the company. What do you want, then? I need to be rude. Sorry, it's just that I'm very busy. I have a lot of studying to do, and all these creatures to look after. It's not easy to keep track of everything and make casual conversation well. I need to retrieve Betty's wand. Betty sent me down here to fetch her wand, but she said that it might there might be a small complication. I'd say there are complications. Betty is a penchant for intricacy. 
You're not going to be able to get the wand until you get that chest open. That sounds simple enough. What's so complicated about opening a little chest? Well, the chest in which Betty stores her wand is magically sealed. I won't confuse you with the details right now, but here's the deal. The chest is simply not going to be open until order has been restored to Betty's menagerie. What do you mean? What menagerie? Well, if you have a look around, you'll see that there are six separate chambers, each of which is designed to house a little critter. Each creature has an enclosure that has been made especially for it, but at the moment, several of them are out of place. So what you're saying is we need to put each creature in the proper enclosure in order to open the chest. Exactly. Now I should warn you. These are very sensitive creatures and don't really like each other. Oh, God. Is this going to be like that thing where it's like you need to get a goat or like two sheep across the river or whatever that puzzle was? What does that have to do with anything? Was it two sheep and a wolf or something? Two things. First, you can't carry more than one creature at a time. Second, you can't carry a creature through the door of a chamber which contains another creature. You'll have to move the creatures one by one. You can use the holding pen in this room to help shift them into the right position. One more thing I should mention. You shouldn't have to move the bat and the snail at all. They're already exactly where they need to be. Now, if you have any questions or uh, want me to put the creatures back to the arrangement they're in now, just let me know. Here's a magic slate. It shows an overview of exactly who is where. You can use it for reference if you like. It's not necessary, but I find it helpful. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, wait, I didn't, I didn't read that. Is this where, where they're supposed to be, or is this where they... Bat. Blackbird. Which did they say were in the right ones? The bat and the snail? Wait. How are they not... Oh, there's a spider there. Oh, there's a rat there. What's in here? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Remember as a kid, someone sent you this type of puzzle and it stunlocked you? Okay. Wait, there's a creature in here? Oh, hang on a second. Is it, oh, is it because we can't walk past that? Okay. Doesn't seem happy there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is this like a slide puzzle, basically? That's the bat. That's the snail. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I fucking hate slide puzzles. I actually don't know the, the strategy, but let's see. Okay, so we have the rat. Oh, wait, there's already something in there. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me just look at the orientation. So that's spider. So, rat... What's this? Lizard. Is that spider? Oh, this is this one's easy. Thankfully, this looks like it's a very, very easy sliding puzzle. I hate actually like complex ones, but this one. Now, if these were in the wrong order, like if it was um, if it was like the rat, then the lizard, then the spider. This would be a lot more annoying. But because they're in the right order, this one's easy. Oh, no. Okay, then we get the rat. Okay. 
Looks like everyone is in the correct place now. Perhaps I should see if I can open the chest. Okay, where is the chest? There it is. Let's talk to her. You've done it. You've got all the creatures in their proper pens. Did you get that broom of yours enchanted by Betty? Not quite yet. Well, good luck with all of that. All right. Wait, did I get... What? Hello? What? Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm supposed to be getting an item to give to her, right? They brought me my wand so I can enchant the broom for you. What? Why couldn't I pick it up? What? Do I need to do, like... Oh, search. Okay. I, I assumed it was going to make me, uh... Okay. I had to, to right-click interact. Okay. I got your wand for you. Excellent. Let me just use enchant on that broom for you, then. There you go. I'm sure that that's spice, that's the spice that Maggie's looking for. Many thanks. I would not want to ride on a spicy broom. That's all I'm going to say. Wait, I did, oh, fully enchanted. Okay. Am I friends with, I feel like I'm friends with that girl down there now. I feel like I called her out as being rude and then we bonded. And now I think we're besties. I need to raid this building at some point for funsies. Okay. Next, we're looking for... Was it Betty? Hetty? I don't remember. Oh, it's going to be this girl, right? Hello there. Maggie sent me to ask for your help in enchanting her broom. Ah, uh, brewing stuff up in a cauldron. Full of her infamous good stuff, is she? Well, of course I'll help. I think it calls for one of my specialties. My famous surgical broom ointment. Now, I can provide you with the ointment. All you'll need to do is apply the ointment to the broom. What is the song weaving? I like it. Excellent. But first, I need a newt. A newt? Yes, a newt. Now... If you just happen to pop down into my cellar through the trap door out back, I've just had a recent delivery of newts and toads. The delivery ghoul is still here. I can't think of what could be taking him so long. In any case, one of the crates. But once the crates are unloaded, just bring me a newt from the newt crate, and I'll set you up with the ointment. Okay, will do. Wah. 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 Go. Hey, what's up, Gus? Are you dead? Uh, oh yeah, delivery ghoul. That would make a lot of. Oh my god, I like his head. Um, don't clip that. Hello, are you the delivery uh ghoul? Eddie told me that you could give me a newt for her potion. Oh, should I talk like fucking? <laughs> What are you looking at, smooth skin? Just the fucking Fallout ghouls? Yes, but I'd prefer if you call me Gus. I make deliveries for Numinous Witchery Supplies Limited. If it's a newt you're after, you can have one from one of those crates, but there's a problem. Hopefully you don't have that much dialogue, dude, because if you have a lot to say, this is gonna destroy my throat. But what kind of problem? A nudie toady sort of problem, I'm afraid. You see, the labels on the crates have somehow got messed up. 
One of these crates just uh, contains newts. One contains just toads. One contains a mixture of newt and toads. The problem is, I put the wrong label on all three crates. I can't remember which crate contains newts, toads, or both newts and toads. Oh dear, that sounds like quite a problem. Indeed. Please, don't tell Miss Hetty, or I'll be tomorrow's soup. The problem is that I can't look in the crates myself. You see, I have a terrible fear of newts. Will you work out which box contains toads? And which one contains newts and toads, and which one is both? If you could sort out the labels, I'd be happy to give you a newt to take to Miss Hetty. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Excellent, I'm so relieved. So, what do I need to know? Uh, what do I need to do to sort out these crates, then? Well, here's the problem. We need to figure out what is in each crate. All we know is I put the wrong label on each and every crate. So not one crate has the correct label on it. Sounds easy enough. I'll just have to take a look in the crate and... Oh no, you can't do that. You can't disturb them. So there's four possibilities, right? No, no, you can't do that. You can't... Wait, are there four... Are, are there only two possibilities? Let me just think. If I move this here, I think there's only two possibilities. Wait, are there only two possibilities? I, I might need to pull out MS Paint to actually just, like, uh, think this out. No, no, you can't do that. We can't disturb them. Uh, don't you know anything about magical frogs and newts? You no, know, there's two possibilities, right? Yeah, there's two possibilities. Also, we cannot waste too much stock. Miss Hetty will find out if we're taking newts and frogs out of crates as we please. So what do you suggest? Well, when I was cramming for my crate delivery certification exam, I remember reading about situations like this. A person can figure out uh, exactly what is in three crates by only taking out one item from one crate. Okay, so we take an item out of this crate. And we'll know what that is. Rum is, I can't remember how to figure it out. I'm pretty sure that the key... It, uh, that the key is in... Sorry, my, my brain just shut down. There's one of those boxes that you can be 100% certain if you... Yeah, if, if we look into this one, we know which it is. The problem is, I can't remember how to figure it out. I'm pretty sure that the key is in what I said earlier, that each and every crate has a wrong label on it. Here are the three labels you can paste on the crates. If you lose your labels or you want me to put things back the way they were, just let me know. Okay. Thanks, Gus. So, let's open this up. You pull out a newt. So, this is the newt one. Okay. No, remember what I said. We can't waste our stock. One look should be enough. We wouldn't want to get Miss Hetty annoyed. Well, if we could pull... If we could get a newt from another box, we would know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We know this. We know this. Because um, this one has to be a frog. Because that one can't be. Easy peasy. Hooray! I do believe that you've put the correct the labels on the crates correctly. Miss Hetty will be so pleased. Now, you only need a newt, right? Feel free to take one from the newt's only crate. The others aren't appropriate for ointments and potions. There we go. Okay, easy peasy. Yeah, have you managed to get the newt yet? Yes, it's right here. Excellent. I'll just take it and add a little newt slime to the ointment. That should do it. Ooh, I like this song too. That should do it. Just rub this ointment on the broom. That should suit Maggie's purposes. Wonderful, thanks. 
Okay, the last one was in Draenor, right? Okay, you feel it tingle, and the enchantment permeates the wood. Ooh, oh, thank you, Chiberry. Thanks for the raid, I appreciate it. Let's just do a little quick... Oh, shoot, my shout-out thing's not working. Let's go shout out... I need to check my bot. I don't know what I'm doing with, uh... Why my bot stopped working. What were you playing today? All right. Let's go over to Draenor. Okay, so now we need... Uh, where's the witch here? Let's see. Where? What was their name? Um, A Aggie, right? I'm, I'm gonna guess in this area. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Is there a magic house here? Oh, there she is. Oh, this is the girl that we got the die from the once. For the goblin armor quest. What can I help you with? Uh, talk about swept away. We talk about brooms. Of course, what can I do for you? Maggie's asked me to help her enchant her broom. She needs it to finish a potion that she's brewing. I was wondering if you could help me out. Of course, Maggie's an old friend. We go back quite a, quite a way. Now, in order to enchant the broom, we need a bit of space and privacy. I feel like she would say privacy. There's a little clearing us witches could use, uh, sometimes use. Would you like me to teleport you there so that we can get started? Yes, let's do it. I'm ready to go. Okay, hold on to your hat. Okay. Oh God, I don't know what this... Oh God, I vaguely remember games like this as a kid. Oh, God. Whoa. What are we doing here? These are all like childhood games, right? Oh, this is just a little place that some of us witches uh, use on occasion. I might use MS Paint for this, depending on what I need to do. Uh, it's rather convenient for the occasional uh, ritual or spell. Don't spoil what to do, anyone. Not only is it infused with a bit of magical pizzazz, but it's out of the way enough that we don't have get a lot of unnecessary interruptions. All right, which leaves the question of what we're doing here. You want that broom of yours enchanted, right? Right. Well, the best way to enchant that hunk of dead wood is to harness the power latent in the magic symbol here. You see the pattern of 16 lines drawn out in the sand. How could I miss it? In order to enchant the broom, you need to sweep away four of those 16 lines, such that you only leave four small triangles on the ground and nothing else. If you run into any trouble, I'll reconfigure the original pattern for you. I'll also teleport you back when you're ready to leave. Did you say we can sweep away four? Okay, let's see. Um, I think I see how to do it. If you run into any trouble, I'll reconfigure the original pattern for you. I can also teleport you back to Draenor when you're ready to leave. I think we're just getting rid of two parallelograms. Okay, thanks. I'll give it a try. felt that down to my toes. You did it! The enchantment from the sand pattern has infused Maggie's broom. There's nothing more to do here now. Come and have a chat when you're ready. 
I'll take you back to Draenor with me. All right. I, wait. Will we never be allowed to come back here ever again? Let's let's just soak in this zone because I think this is the last we'll ever see of this. There's a this is a one-time experience. Okay. That was impressive. Yes, there's a lot of power in these types of magical symbols. Uh, okay, she already answered this, right? This is just the place that witches use on occasion. Okay, yeah, we've already read that. Anything else that needs to be done here? No, the magic from the sand pattern has infused the broom, so we're ready to go back to Draenor. Would you like me to take you back now? Yes, let's go back. We have to go back, Kate. Sure thing. Just hold on to your hat, and we'll be back to Draenor before you can wiggle your nose. I've never seen that show. Was it... Um... I Dream of Genie? Was that... I almost said Bewitched. I've never seen either of those. What can I help you with? Nothing. Actually, something. Swept away. Did we talk about brooms? Of course, congratulations on getting that broom properly enchanted. Have you brought it back to Maggie? Not yet. Oh, you shouldn't keep her waiting any longer. She gets so impatient when it comes to her concoctions. Okay, so we got our spicy, slimy broom. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, you know what name in French? Oh, <laughs> what's that? Something a la ne or something? What are you guys doing? Okay, what's up, Maggie? Oh, is that the show? Is that like my, like, my good, um, um, is that like, is it like my good friend, the witch or some shit? I don't fucking know. My dear witch. Okay. Okay. Are you Canadian? Out of curiosity. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have that I have that remedial uh high school French knowledge where it's like, oh, you got 97% in French class. You can't speak shit. I'm somehow on the honor roll and I can't speak a fucking sentence. Welcome, traveler. What can I do for you this fine day, Cha? I've good news for you. Cha, and how? What's that crackling in the air? And that smile on your face, then? I visited Betty in Port Serum, Hetty in Remington, and Aggie in Draenor, and they've all enchanted the broomstick for us. Hey, you say, brilliant. Oh, I can tell you how grateful I am. You're in for a treat, you are. If you just do one more little thing for me. What's that, then? To finish the good stuff off, we just need to give it a good old stir with that broomstick, then. It'll all come out... Uh, it'll come out all the better if you do it, since you're the one who had it enchanted. Did you stir the good stuff in that cauldron for me? Pretty pleased with sweeties on top. Of course I could. Brill, just a stir or two with that broom should be all it needs. Sounds easy enough. There, that should do it. Oh, 
Welcome, Traveler. What can I do for you? I steered the cauldron for you. This stuff has some kick to it. I should think so, Cha. With all that added spice, that ought to be one spicy goulash. What, would you like to try some? I'll pass on the newt goulash. Wait, what? Goulash? I thought you were brewing some amazingly magical witchy, witchly potion. Well, what wish doesn't love goulash, I ask you? What could be more witchly than a big old cauldron full of spicy yumminess? But what about all that effort I went to enchant the broom? Cha, well, you don't think spicing <laughs> spicing something this good is easy, do you? Look, I'm so grateful for your help. Well, don't. Uh, why don't you help yourself to ten bowlfuls? Just dip a bowl in the cauldron and help yourself, but hang on to your hat. That stuff's magic. Not all, I mean, buh, oh my god, my brain. That stuff's magic after all, not to blow my own horn. Just one bowl can improve almost any aspect of your life. Here's a bowl you can use. You can also keep my broom if you'd like, now that we've used it to infuse the brew with some old spice. It's not a much use to me. You can't do much but sweep with it at the moment, but there are other witches out there who'd be happy to enchant it for you if you're interested. Okay, we've got a broomstick and access to 10 portions of XP giving goulash. Oh, better than many of the potions you can chug like an addict in late game combat. Let's see. What is this? If I drink it. Oh, I can choose a skill. Oh, it scales them differently based on how much XP you have in them. Oh, and it, okay, we'll, we'll come back for more XP later. Want to go enchant the broom? Unfortunately, I cannot, but what I can do... Let me just check something real fast. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, ignore. Let me check something real fast. Uh, do I know anyone who is on at the moment? Not really. Okay. I need to take off, but I, I had fun today. It was a very punny day. Um, I will be back tomorrow with some... I think we're going to start Metroid Zero Mission tomorrow. And I might be back tonight with some Terraria with Cinnabunny, potentially. Potentially. We'll see. It all depends on how she's feeling. Um, but I'll be back with some more RuneScape soon. I'll try to do it sooner than I was last time. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I need to take off. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. Mwah.